you are looking at a 1965 Pontiac GTO. This had a full frame off restoration. Actually has a new frame. It has new doors, new quarters, new trunks, new inner and outer fender wells, a new tail panel, new interior. This car used to have dark blue interior. Went with black on the interior. It has a two inch spindle drop. It has Alden American coilovers with a uh, adjustable two inches up or down 18 inch wheels all the way around 13 inch rotors on the front 12 inch on the back from uh, getbigdiscbrakes.com it is an actual true Pontiac Historical Society verified 237 GTO has dual exhaust with pipes dual exhaust on the back all the parts on this car are new. Every bolt, every everything on this thing is new. Um, or the parts that were crappy that would be new were reused and kept. Um, I do have the stainless steel for the bottom side here and the stainless steel that goes around the wheel arches. We left those off for a little bit more of a custom look. And what I mean by crappy parts are these are actually some driver quality bezels. I actually have another set of these as well. Um, obviously they're not perfect, but these in the GTO community are better having an original set than having the cheap ones that they reproduce. But there is a little pitting on that because it's, uh, but like I said, I have a whole nother set that comes with the car. Obviously this stuff is original. All the stainless that went around it is original, but it's all in good shape. Same with the bezel back here. This is another original part. They don't even make these panels. They're really, really, really hard to find. It can go up to thousands of dollars. Uh, this one is in really good um, condition for being an original piece. The thing runs and drives great as a Tremec five-speed transmission. Only run premium gas, not that that matters, but that's how the car is tuned. It has some JBL GTO speakers, which I know is really not a selling point. This is the sequential taillights. They're LED taillights for the turn signals. here in the trunk. The trunk has been spatter coated with the aqua and black. As you, if you know GTO, this area here, even if you wash a brand new one, you'd get water pooling up here and they would typically rust out. This whole trunk pan is all brand new. And this whole tail panel, real ta rear tail panel back here came off of a donor car from out west. So this whole back, portion here that you're looking at where this trunk lip is actually from a whole nother car and this car was laser aligned it is true and straight all over um, there is it looks like a little bit there's a couple flaws on the car I'll point them out there's a little bit from putting the car cover on and let me pull the uh, trunk down so you can see that a little better it's just kind of like a graying a little bit there on the paint there's not really much over here can see if that's I'm trying to think of all the little flaws I can think of that's one this is probably the biggest mark on the entire car and this never had it looked at in terms of you know could they get it buffed out or anything um, doesn't appear to be very deep but that was on there actually when I got the car back from the paint shop the car doesn't get driven very much under here I had a uh, before I put on the coilovers the front end rubbed a little you can see back here where there's a little bit of rubbing and up underneath here there was a little bit of rubbing where it connected with the inside of the fender well that you can't see but that was an occurrence now that the coilovers are on there there's no more rubbing it's adjusted out car is aligned have a lifetime alignment on the vehicle only other flaw i guess is this over here and this might be in the paint as far as i can tell very hard to notice any issues that this car has 
other than that, there's no other scratches. If you see anything in the pictures, um, I guess there's a little bit of where the seal is at here. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's on the car, there's some bug right there that I didn't get when I cleaned it. <laughs> so, uh, new glass, all the windows go up and down, all the seals are good. It is a 55 year old car, so it does sound a little drafty as you're driving down the road. This would have typically been Fontaine blue in here and it was painted gloss black in the underside of the trunk. But the trunk is immaculate. There's not a hole anywhere. It's wonderful under inside the trunk here. Very clean, very nice. License plate bracket. There is one little nick right here in the door, but it does not open. I'm gonna try to open it and see if you guys can see. I mean, it does not rub. There is zero rubbing going on, and that was something that happened during a, during assembly of the car uh, after paint. But literally, those are the only flaws I can honestly think of. Anything else, like I said, is like there's goo right here that I missed. Gone. Might happen on the drive over. Uh, there's the inside. The headliner is beautiful. These seats here actually were um, these were the reproduction seat covers. We, these were actually sewn. Uh, sewn over so all the stitching on these seats uh, were sewn over so that they would be extra durable because these when you buy them from uh, Ames or something like that they are not really the best quality so the parts where that they would break have been actually double stitched so that they're uh, more longevity uh, carpet there's actually a uh, Tremec 5 speed in here so there's a whole complete removable tunnel cover here that's where the Tremec went GTO, the glove box is messy. I do have some GTO Max Fast Factor cologne in there, but it's clean. The dash is spotless. Uh, all the gauges work. Um, you know what? The one thing that doesn't work, de-ice. If you go to here, put it on normal, it doesn't blow at your feet because it's like a $300 part to do that. So it just, the often times that I ever run the heat because I don't drive in the winter, blow the heat out of the um, de-icer and I think it comes, I swear it comes out of the floor too. I feel like it's both, but mainly out of here, but never use the heat. But uh, if that's an issue, that's one of the only non-working things on the inside. Um, oh, and the horn, the horn is like a little plastic piece and I might actually fix that before I sell it. It's like a $20 part on here. Uh, Tremec five speed, like I said, clutch, brakes, wipers work good. All the doors open and close really well. All the rockers. Uh, everything is lined up really, really nice on the car. This is actually a functioning Ram Air. Now, some of these cars didn't come with a functioning Ram Air. And so what the guys did in the 60s is they would go out, but cut out a hole in the hood so that the Ram Air would be functioning. So this is a factory four barrel car. And so obviously this is not a factory intake. Okay, the engine is actually painted body color, which is the Fontaine blue, which is very similar to what they painted the insides of these engines. So that's something a little different. It's a blue printed and balanced Pontiac 400 from Pake's uh, engine shop in Janesville, Wisconsin. That does a lot of older classic vehicles, especially uh, GTOs. Chuck Acoma, if you're in the GTO community, he, there's several books. If you ever look for his name, he's in there. He has. Uh, a horde of GTOs and that's where he sends all of his engines to be done. So this was the place that he told me to go to. Uh, I know Chuck Kakoma personally, unless he's looking at this ad, he knows the car. He knows the car more than he knows the people. Um, but I've known him since I was 14 and I'm 38 now. Um, and uh, so yeah, the engine has a mild cam in it. It has uh, a Willwood hydraulic clutch. Um, the firewall painted glossy the inner fender wells are painted glossy and the hood is painted glossy as well and the valance and all that is painted glossy that would have been a flat color from factories it gives it a nice look the engine runs like a top it runs fabulous it runs really really good um, this is a uh, four barrel ram air pan that's actually been modified to fit the higher performer intake um, but it does give it the uh, ram air effect it has headers obviously on there headman headers wasn't even sure what those were 
Now this is not the original engine. This is a Pontiac 400. Um, around about 73 was the year on it. So this is a funny story. Back when I had this car, I am 38 now. I got this car when I was 14 in 1997. And when I was 18 in high school, I was taking off this battery post and it clipped the side of the uh, fender here. When the body shop did this whole restoration, they didn't even catch that tiny little thing. But to me, it's always a good memory. But uh, that is another, I guess, flaw, but it's been painted over, obviously. LED lights for safety, that's the easy swap out if you don't like them. Doors on this side, shut and close really well. Trunk opens really nice. All the windows go up and down as they were supposed to. If you know anything about these cars, these, the back windows back here, these rubber seals, if you were to go to roll this down, you need to put your finger here to get it down. That's been the case since 1965. But uh, if I can show you, it kind of gets hung up on there. So if you just kind of take your finger, press it on in, help it in there. Oh, beautiful. Interior on this car is just gorgeous. This car has 6,202 miles. Had the odometer set to zero at the restoration. And um, yeah, other than that, the radio has hookup for your phone. It is not Bluetooth, but it does have the hookup for, uh, I can plug it right into my iPhone, hear directions from, you know, GPS and all that visors there's one other little spot here when they were assembling the dash there's a little bit of scrape up on there but that i'm trying to be as honest as i possibly can with all the little stuff and as i'm seeing things and remembering them um, i mean literally the car just sits under a cover in my garage so it's very minimal
that's just a reflection right there. So I'm not going to say where at, but this vehicle has a dizzy switch. If the owner buys it, I'll show that to them. It's a switch that actually shuts off power to the distributor. It adds as a safety or, or a security device. The insurance company actually gives me a discount for it. So you can't actually start the car unless the uh, dizzy switch is in the right position. And it is wired in where you cannot tell it's there. Although saying that, um, you know, this is what it is, but most people can't drive stick anyway. So this is gonna be from sitting here in the hot sun, starting it up, fires up every time. Uh, you know what, the uh, light switch on this, I just thought of it now as I pulled this, um, the dash lights work, but sometimes you hit a bump and they'll kind of be a little bit fuzzy. So um, that's been like that since it's been out of restoration for the last five years or so. Everything else works just fine. Gas gauge works, power steering works, no noises. It is a little bit more springy after I added the coilover suspensions. It's a little bit more bouncy than it used to be. But um, I do have the stock springs that are painted uh, gloss black that look really nice and the shocks that are painted body color as well in my garage I have all kinds of literature. I have all the receipts From the frame off rotisserie restoration the floor pans are painted body color
yet to see a lot of GTOs that are as good condition as this one. Um, the launch gears and all that, this American powertrain, Tremec 5-speed transmission, the launch gears, um, that is, and all the different gear ratios, I have all that information. Um, if you ask me in the comments, I'll have to go digging <laughs> to try to find that info, uh, or call American powertrain. Uh, but the 5-speed gear is a nice tall gear, so you, I'm assuming you call it tall <laughs> for when you're on the highway, it's real low RPMs. does not see rain at all doesn't get driven in the rain for obvious reasons as a triple clear coat uh, paint job on it the clear coat's got three coats of clear Everyone sees these and says, hey, they have tri-power? No, this is a factory four-barrel car from McGrath Pontiac in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. That's where it came from. It's a northern car. It spent most of its life in uh, Rockford, Illinois, where it was in our family since the early 80s. Where it came from prior to that, I don't know. The original engine, I was told when I was 15, it never had the original engine. Um, when I did the restoration on it, uh, took the engine out, put it alongside a barn, and had a metal scrapper come along. Lo and behold, I wouldn't be doubtful that that wasn't the original engine in it. So uh, that's kind of crazy. But the new engine in here, that's blueprint and balanced, runs great. Um, it's got posi traction rear end. You can literally put this thing in fifth gear, keep the wife happy, and it's very quiet very low rpm when you're cruising so that is a nice feature you don't have to worry about other than that it's a great car Warm start after it has been sitting. Fires right up.
touching the wheel, it just goes down the highway. <laughs>